The Gospel of the Lord according to St. Luke. The destruction of the temple foretold. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, he said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. The signs of the end. Then they asked him, Teacher, when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you not be deceived. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified. For such thing must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, and plagues from place to place, and awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. The Good News of the Lord Ang Self-Help Gospel May panahon na nahilig ako sa motivational at self-help books, audio books at videos. Ninamnam ko lahat ng mga natutunan ko roon dahil gusto kong mamuhay ng masaya. Sinundan ko ang mga coach, manunulat, influencer at mga ngaral na nagsabing alam nila ang isang lihim o isang bagong paraan sa tagumpay at kasiyahan. Karaniwang isinusulong ng mainstream media ang mga panitikan tungkol sa self-help, self-improvement, at self-reliance. Buminta naman sa akin ang lahat ng ito habang hinahanap ko ang sagot sa aking sarili. Mas nalaman kong ako'y hungkag o walang laman. Siguro'y hindi ko talaga nakuha ang punto. Marahil ito ay kabaligtaran. Tinatawag ako ng Diyos upang magkaroon ng self-control, self-denial, at God-reliance. Dahil dito, natuklasan ko na ang katotohanan, hindi na ito isang lihim, ang isang buhay na maayos ay isang buhay na ibinubuhos, katulad na lang ng kay Kristo.